good morning to everyone myself en kalpana i am from sri gk jain higher secondary school royapuram for more educational video please subscribe our youtube channel today for the 12th standard i am going to explain the topic is basic concept of chemistry and chemical calculation in last class we saw about the how to find the limiting reagents isn't it so it has been followed by the five major uh, rules five major steps it has been taken first one to find the number of moles second one whether the equation should be in the balanced way that means find the co uh, stoichiometric coefficient third one the step one divided by the step two fourth one you have to find the excess reagent as well as the limiting reagent and fifth one it is a mole mole concept okay so one more example i'll given now so 56 g of n2 react with 30 g of h2 to form nh3 so this is in the equation of to form the ammonia okay calculate the number of moles of nh3 formed so the same way a have been given b have been given to find the c the last last class what you have seen the same it has been there okay here they have been given instead of a b they have been given the comp molecules okay for yeah, atoms as well as the molecules they have been given So first one fifty six gram of N two. How can you find it? Weight divided by the moles. How uh, weight is fifty six gram? It is given in the question. And ammonia N two fourteen. So it should be twenty eight. Two moles have been present. Twenty eight. So fifty six divided by twenty eight. It should be two. And next one. 30 gram of ammonia 30 divided by h2 h2 means two moles of hydrogen so one more mass of hydrogen is 1 so 1 plus 1 2 so 30 divided by 2 15 so it is given in the gram you have to convert it in the moles okay so first step obviously is to find the number of moles so what is the number of moles of uh, nitrogen n2 what we have find it here with the mass as well as the mole it is 2 we are getting so 2 and uh, h2 it will be 15 h2 it is been 15 13 by 2 it should be 15 so it's 15 and number of ammonia formed that only we have to calculate calculate the number of moles of ammonia formed so second step first step got over second step to find the stoichiometry so it is 1 it is 3 it should be 2 so if suppose in this equation they are not given in the calculation n2 so in the question means if you see the question n2 h2 will be given the 2 uh, nh3 they have been given if it is stoichiometric it is not been there okay so in the re reactant two nitrogen will be there in the product in the reactants also two in the product uh, three moles of ammonia three twos are six moles of ammonia but here in the question only h2 have been given okay n2 and h2 have been given so you have to balancing the equation by introducing its three three twos are six hydrogen here three twos are six hydrogen molecules have been present so number of moles in a stoichiometric yes it is in the balanced equation so one here it is three here it is two second step got over and the third step 1 divided by 2 first equation divided by 2 2 divided by 1 obviously 2 15 divided by 3 you will be getting as 5 isn't it 15 divided by 3 you will be getting as 5 so what you have to do uh, which one is the least one n2 so for for most what you have to do n2 equal to limiting reagent and uh, H two will be the other one. Remaining one will be obviously it should be the excess. When you compare A and B, H two and N two, if you finding which is the least maximum ra least ratio, that is the limiting reagent, and the remaining one will be the excess reagent. So in this equation, compare two and five. Two will be the least one. So uh, for two, nitrogen will be the limiting reagent, and five for hydrogen. Hydrogen will be the excess reagent. So far, what we have to do, we have to find it. Okay, and next one, uh, what should you do? Number of moles, mole mole concept. How can you find the mole mole concept? Yeah, number of molecules of nitrogen divided by one stoichiometric thing, 
and number of molecules of H divided by 3 and number of NH3 form divided by 2. This is the mole mole concept. You have to find the NH3. Okay. So number of moles of NH3 have been formed. So when you compare these things, these only we have to find it. Okay. But when you, which one you have to compare it either uh, H2 or N2. Obviously N2 only we have to compare it with the ammonia because it is the limiting reagent. Isn't it? So when you compare N um, number of molecule of nitrogen by 1 equal to number of molecules of ammonia by 2. So uh, N2 always already you have been 2. So it should be 2. So NH3 equal to to cross multiply you will be getting as 4. 2 twos are 4 you will be getting. So the number of molecules of ammonia will be formed as 4. Okay. So now we are able to easily understand if either in the 3 marks as well as in the 1 marks they may be asking. In the 1 marks are up to these things. Find out the they given the equation and find out the limiting as well as the excess reagent. In the 3 marks question they have been given in this type of question. First thing you have to find they have been just given in this thing only. Uh, 56 gram of nitrogen, 30 gram of hydrogen, that only. You have to write the equation and you have to see whether it is in the stoichiometric balanced way or not. If it is not, you have to be balanced. Okay. Balanced means, see, this is the 3 twos of 6, 3 twos of. So, 6 hydrogen will be formed in the reactant the same way. 2, 3. So, 3, 6 hydrogen will be formed in the product. This is the way you have to balance in the equation. In lower classes, you have studied about the how to balance the equation. So, first balance the equation. Then only you go ahead with the stepwise process. There is a five, first five steps which is involved in this to find the limiting reagent. Okay. And next concept, we are going with the oxidation reaction. What is it mean by oxidation reaction? Addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen. So opposite to the, if I addition oxidation, oxygen. Addition of oxygen, removal of hydrogen or loss of electron. This will be considered as an oxidation reaction. And next one is a reduction reaction which is opposite to the oxidation reaction. Addition of hydrogen, removal of oxygen and gain of electron. Whether they can be in an equation or whether they can be at least one. If addition of oxygen means it is oxidation. Which addition of hydrogen means it is a reduction reaction anything it has been done okay that is why the three which is main important to find the oxidation and reaction which is opposite to the one another okay oxidation addition oxygen oxidation addition of oxygen removal of hydrogen and loss of uh, electron here it should be opposite addition of hydrogen removal of oxygen and gain of electron let's see the example with the equation see 4Fe plus 3O2. Here uh, oxygen will be added to the ion. Okay. Ion. Ion. So Fe it has been added with that. So addition of oxygen which is under this equation is under the oxidation reaction. So 2Fe2 O3 will be formed. Here CuO plus C which is give Cu. The oxidation copper um, Copper oxygen, Cu, uh, CuO, which has been the, here, the oxygen has been removed and it is add on to the carbon, some one other one. So, here the, the oxygen will be removed. It. So, it is under the reduction reaction. And some more example in the day to day life is when apple, if you cut the apple, it turned into brown color. That means it is reacted with the oxygen. Okay. So, the apple turned into brown, it is in the oxidation reaction. Oxygen which is reacted with the, in, in presence of environment, the oxygen will be reacted with the apple, it turn its color. And next one, rusting. Rusting means it loses its property. How can it lose its property? I told that uh, not only the hydrogen, not only the oxygen, some more electrons will also be there. See, the equation for the rusting Fe3 gives Fe2. One electron, it has been lost its one electron. That means loss of electrons means oxidation. So in the rusting of ion, rusting means the metal, the ion which has been lost its property, it has been lost its physical state. When it is treated with the environment due to the moisture, the oxygen it is also been present in it, it has been reacted together, it will be rusted. Okay. So the reaction is Fe3 plus will be turned into, after it get rusted, it will be turned into 2 plus. That means loss of electron. It will be the example for the oxidation reaction. So in this uh, video, we have saw the question for the limiting reagents. Not only it has been given, not only in the form of A plus B. Sometimes if it is given in this form of equations also. So this is one I have been seen. And next one, what is oxidation and what is reduction. And one more thing, redox reaction has also been there. 
द इन इक्वेशन बोथ ऑक्सीडेशन एंड रिडक्शन विल बी साइमल्टेनियसली हैपन मीन्स इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ रिडक्स रिएक्शन इन टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन दे मे बी आस्किंग वॉट इज द ऑक्सीडेशन गिव एग्जाम्पल और डिफरेंस बिटवीन द ऑक्सीडेशन एंड द रिडक्स रिएक्शन विद द एग्जाम्पल एग्जाम्पल इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन दिस थिंग ओके थैंक यू Subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update